Hello everyone, welcome back to Make Money Advanced to be with me, Fritz, and today we are going to be doing advanced trivia. So let's get right to it. So we're going to want to start off by going into our Make a Pen menu, and in our Make a Pen menu, we're going to go into Materials. In Materials, we're going to want to select any one of wood floor or wood grain. I personally use wood grain, it creates more of a realistic effect to it. So that, go to Color, and then go to the very back page where you'll find all the darker shades. For me, I use brown. It's the best color to perfectly mask the uh, nature of this. So there's that. Now, let's go into settings. Now, once you're in settings, you're going to want to turn all your things down. So your position is going to be down to 1%. Then, from there, what you're going to want to do is have enable self-scaling on. This is very important in this situation. Then, have uniform shapes off, and that's going to be it for your settings. Go to the next page, and you will find two facets on the right side. Turn that all the way to 10, and then put your tube height ratio all the way to 100. Then, turn two tubes on, and have your tube size at 25. This does remain off, and that's a very important factor, so make sure to have your fixed tube width off. Connect nearby tubes on. And that's it. Let's get to building. So we're going to want to start off with our makeup pen. Having it just like this. Make sure that snapping is off on your menu. Now you're going to grab both sides of your grip buttons. If you're on Oculus, it's going to be on the left and right sides of your controllers. For PSVR, it's going to be on the left and right button. So that's going to be circle and X. You're going to grab those. Put them together and then put your hands closer together as you go and go as big as you can. Once as big as you can, you're going to want to put the ground in the ground and you're going to want to drag up in one motion and then slowly let go of your trigger. Just like that. Now, let's move on to the next part. Now that you've done all the parts of this, you're going to want to scale up again just like you did before and maybe just a little bit smaller to create more of it as an ease to make other branches so now grab your maker pen go to the side of it and drag directly up and then out just like that now what you could do is you could always scale these down to your preferred liking but personally i like mine being a little bit more small kind of like a withered tree so I'll scale mine down, and then I'll place it exactly where I want it to be. See? Just like that. Now, we're going to want to do one more strand. You could add as many as you want, leading off to smaller ones. But personally, I'd go for three main strands. One in the front, one on the side, and another one just right beside that. Let's get to that real quick. Just like that, and there we go. Now, we're going to scale this down, because I said we already gave our number right? So let's scale that down. And then place it into the correct position, which will be on the ground. Make sure the trunks are always touching, because that's how that nature works. They always root into the ground. Now let's get to the next part. Okay, now we're going to move on to leaves. So you're going to want to go back onto shape, select tube, then go to materials. And for me personally, I use dirt. Some people don't, but dirt is a really good substitute for any type of leaf material that you are going for, especially plant. So, select dirt, go to colors, and on colors, you're going to want to go to second page from the beginning, and then select green. Green is going to be the primary color we are going to be using today for leaves. And there you go. Now let's get to settings. Now in settings, you're going to want to start on first page, and on first page, you're going to have your position snap on 0.5, rotation snap 0.5, uniform shapes off, enable cell scaling on. Now that's all you're going to need for first page. Now let's go to second page. On second page, you're going to have your two facets on 10, have your tube height ratio from varying from 75 to 100. Personally, I use 100 because it creates a more smooth texture to it. Now make sure you have smooth tubes on and 25 centimeter for your tube side. Now let's get to building. 
Now for this part, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to follow along due to the fact that you have to pressurize your trigger. So what you want to start off with is dragging it at full speed and full pressure on the trigger. And then you're going to want to slowly tilt it to the right or left of your liking. And then you can let go a little bit. And as soon as it makes that little joint right there, right there, you're going to want to scale it right back up. And then there you go. There's one leaf pattern we have so far. Let's get to the second. Now, for the second one, we're going to want to have a direct straight line. So, let's grab it and make one direct straight line. Again, full pressure. And as soon as it makes the first joint, you're going to want to dip it down just a little bit. And then as soon as it makes that second joint, you're going to want to scale it back up. And then there you go. You have your second tree line. Now that we have our blobs and our tree here, we're going to want to take out our paper run again, select edit, and then edit these leaves. Then we're going to want to press clone on right pen, the blue button, and you're going to want to grab the mid piece, and we're going to want to clone it right into the middle. Now once that's into the middle, you can clone it a little bit more around, just to make it look a little bit more nice. Sometimes you might want to rotate these two, just to make them look a little bit more unorganized and actually have it more of a natural look. And then what we're going to want to do next is we're going to want to clone one more piece at the very back and we're going to, want to place it right in between. These are called connector pieces for the most part. These are what make the tree more able to look normal and to make them look more natural. And there we have it. The first tree that we made looks exactly like this. You could take a full 360 look around right now because of exactly what it looks like. Full tree just made for us. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and comment, subscribe, do whatever you really want. There you go.